So this um, video is about volunteering and I'm going to provide you with um, the reason, the why behind um, the necessity to volunteer. And I'm also going to provide you with direction on how to volunteer effectively. So I'm not just going to ask you to volunteer and just leave it in the air like that, but I'm actually going to give you direction on how to do it. There is actually an attached reference sheet that will give you step by step by step instructions and resources that are available in your own community. So a couple of quotes by Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. The first one is this, life's most persistent and urgent question is, what are you doing for others? And then he follows that up with, not everyone can be famous, but everyone can be great because greatness is determined by service. So volunteering, there are three things that you get out of it you get out of it as an individual. So you are connecting. There is an impact on your mind and body. And then there's also fulfillment. So let's talk about connecting. So uh, obviously I'm in sales. So if you are in a, any type of sales role, it is important to uh, be part of your community. So think about it this way. You, you live at an address, you work at an address. That in itself does not make you part of the community. You actually have to be involved in the community to be part of it. So that is an impact right there. You're part of the community. You meet new friends. You expand your network. And this is the other thing. Uh, you increase your social skills in a safe environment. There's no pressure or anything like that. You are volunteering. Everyone is open and receptive to you being there and for you to communicate with them. The next part of it is your mind and body. So if you think about it this way, there is a counter effect uh, to stress, to anger, to anxiety. It helps people combat depression. It increases self-confidence. And then you can stay physically healthy as well, depending on the activity that you're doing. And then there's fulfillment. So it, it really gives you a sense of purpose. It allows you to escape from your day-to-day -day routine. And then of course it satisfies uh, some hobbies that you may have. So that's what it does for you. So what about the entity or the organization you're volunteering with? So truly it benefits people in need. It benefits people in need. And then it helps you become a complete person. So here are your action items, your takeaways. The first two are, are very simple. I, once again, I've attached a document. So the very first thing that you need to do is really truly do a self-assessment on your capabilities. Uh, and what I mean by that is we all have unique skills that we're already good at. So why don't we align something with our volunteer activities where you, we don't have to reinvent the wheel. If you're not good with a hammer, and you can't climb up on the ladder because of physical challenges, then why would you volunteer for Habitat for Humanity? Let's keep it simple. Keep it simple. And that way it will be uh, fulfilling and fruitful for you to do the activity. It won't be a stress on you. The next thing that you need to do is research the opportunities that align with that assessment that you're going to perform. And this is the big one. Within the next seven days, you need to identify the opportunity and commit to pursuing it. The next seven days, identify the opportunity and then commit to pursuing it. I promise you, you will get a lot out of it. Physically, mentally, emotionally, it benefits not only the, the people that you are volunteering for, but for yourself as well. So please do this. There are 720 hours in a month. We all can carve out a couple of hours a month to do something for other people. So take care.